What is up, YouTube? Good evening. Happy Valentine's Day to you guys. Um, I hope you all had a wonderful Valentine's Day. I know I did. It was very, uh, it was very good, actually. We went out to eat for the first time, and God knows how long. We went to the Sandbar, a new Mexican restaurant here in, uh, in Gilbert. And, um, it was very, uh, very delicious yeah so I'm eating on the weekends and I'm not eating Monday through Friday so today is my last day I could eat and we decided since it's Valentine's Day why don't we go to the uh, restaurant and, and eat out and do that for a change so also good news I, I mean I don't know if this is I mean my wife has informed me that um, they are lifting the restrictions on face masks um, all over the place right now. So I guess it has to do with the uh, this vaccine that people are dumb enough to allow them to have uh, put into their bodies. But hey, I mean, if it makes a, a more relaxed mask wearing environment, right? We might return back to normal here very soon. That's not a bad thing for right now. So I'm gonna give you a message, your Valentine's Day message. And uh, see what I can deliver for you for spirit from spirit. All right, let's do it. Ready? What do we got? Wow. The sun, right out of the beginning. The sun, Leo energy. What do I feel right off the bat? I feel new energy coming into your life. I feel inspiration. I feel transformation. I feel guidance. I feel determination, motivation. I mean, all of these things are coming out in me right now as I look at the sun card. It's like you're going to be liberated from something that you just absolutely are exhausted from. You are ready to be liberated from this and you have been waiting for someone to show up in your life to help you, guide you out of this darkness that you have found yourself to be in. And it's coming here with the sun card. Someone, something is coming into your life very soon. It's going to completely change everything. Oh, wow, with the page of pentacles, someone's coming to make you an offer. Someone is coming to offer you their support. Their, just like I just said, I mean, right after the, the sun card with the page of pentacles, I mean, this is, this is someone who has their finances in order. Someone who, you know, um, they're, it's an immature energy. You know, it's a very immature energy and it's definitely, you know, um, a younger energy. So there's a difference in age here. Definitely a difference in age with you and this particular individual. Um, and right now, I mean, the energies of course can be reversed, but I really feel strongly like I'm talking to my male Virgos and that there is a female energy coming into their life, um, a feminine energy coming into their life that's going to rescue them from something that they have just been fighting their, their demons with to survive here. It's been really difficult, very hard, and that's all coming to an end with this energy coming into your life. Uh, they're going to help you out of this mess. Oh my God, what's going on here with the world card? Oh my God, I'm sorry, not the world, the wheel card. The wheel is turning for you. You are, I mean, I'm telling you, something's happening. This person coming into your life is going to turn the wheel one way or another for you, okay? This wheel is either going to turn for a change, a different kind of change with a new beginning with this individual, or it's going to turn the opposite direction, which
I don't recommend, you know, I hope it doesn't turn in the opposite direction for you. I hope that you'll find the courage to move forward in this situation because this is beautiful energy if you do. Um, and if you don't, if you don't move forward with this wheel, you're gonna have the tower. I mean, you have the tower coming in. You've got to move forward, you understand? You've got to move forward with this situation. You've just got to because not moving forward with this person is going to bring a tower moment into your life that is going to be unlike anything you expect right now. Unlike anything that you expect right now. You have got to do something. I mean... That tower moment... Okay... So what I see here, is I see here this energy coming into your life that's going to make this wheel turn for you. I see that as clear as day, okay? But then I also see, I ask Spirit, what happens if the wheel turns the opposite direction. What happens if Virgo doesn't go for this? What happens if they're, they don't have the courage to take that leap of faith? And it brings you into the Three of Pentacles energy. Um, and then the Tower. And then the Seven of Cups. So, you're going to have issues financially in your life. And these issues, these financial issues are going to definitely bring a tower moment into your life. And then you're going to, by going that direction, you're going to be presented with the seven of cups, which means you're going to have options that you're going to have to choose from. The thing about these options is that they're not all good. You know, there's many options on the table and they all look good at first glance. But as I've explained in this particular, with this particular card in this particular deck, if you pay attention to the seven of cups, do you see that snake crawling out at the bottom down there? I mean, that snake, that's a snake, okay? Not every one of these cups are good, okay? So here you're faced with the tower card, okay? And then the seven of cups, all right? You're gonna have money with your finances and problems with your finances if you don't move forward, which is gonna lead you to that tower moment, which is gonna bring you to Yes, opportunities, okay, opportunities, but we're talking about opportunities that's not this. It's opportunities that is not this sun card, okay? We're talking about the sun energy here. We're talking about new beginnings. We're talking about, you know, something very beautiful. This is a gift from the universe. You should not deny this gift. This is a very special individual. Very, very special individual, and you should not deny this page of cups or page of pentacles. Do you understand? This offer coming your way, Virgo, is a gift from the universe. I am telling you, you should not deny this offer. You need to go for it. You need to have this leap of faith. You need to allow this wheel to turn in your favor, okay? Not against your favor so that you've got this garbage going on in your life, okay? You need to let it turn in your favor. So now let's ask spirit, if you do let the wheel turn in your favor, if you do take that leap of faith, what's gonna happen, spirit? Answer my questions. What's gonna happen? Can Virgo have enough guts to take this? If Virgo has enough guts to take this beautiful leap of faith with this, I'm gonna call it a Leo, and I've told my followers in the past to stay away from the Leo coming into their life. And, you know, you've got two Leos. You've got a Leo energy that's toxic, and you have a Leo energy that is beautiful. Beautiful and ready for a change, ready for a new beginning. And this, this is going to be completely in your control. This is your decision, okay? So let's say they go with this Leo. Okay, let's say they go with the Leo, okay? What do they can, can they expect, Spirit? Oh. Okay, give me more.
Okay. Okay, if you go forward with this, the sun energy, if you do go forward with the sun energy, you're going to have a situation that comes back to haunt you, okay? Something from your past. Whatever you're leaving behind is going to be lingering around in your life, okay? Creating creating this uh, possible disunion chaos if you allow this i'm seeing a capricorn energy here coming back into your life um a capricorn that you've left behind and this capricorn is not going to be happy with your new beginning with this the sun um with this leo they're not going to be happy with this new beginning um and it's going to do it they're going to want you back the your your past is going to come back to you and they're gonna want you back for that six of cups, okay? They're gonna want their six of cups back with you again, all right? So here you've got, you know, a uh, a page coming into your life here that's just a page of cups here that's just, you see the feet there at the top of the card. I mean, they're half in and, and half out and they're really, you know, they're indecisive. They're not making any choices in their life right now. They're a page, very immature energy, a age difference with the one you're leaving behind as well. And I say it's a Capricorn here because you get the devil card. Okay. You got the devil card and you see how that devil is reaching out to you. That devil is reaching back out to you. That devil wants to come back into your life. Do you understand? The Capricorn is the sign of the devil. Okay, this is a devil trying to come back into your life as a result of this new relationship. They don't like it. They don't like your new beginning. They want the Six of Cups with you. Okay, they want the Six of Cups with you. The problem with the Six of Cups is it's not the Ten of Cups. The problem is it's not everything that you deserve and everything that you want from this Capricorn. They're not going to give it to you. They just want the Six of Cups energy. They want to fuck with you. They want to toy with you. They want to stop you from having your Ten of Cups with this Leo. So having any involvement with this, this Capricorn that will come back into your life, absolutely a huge mistake. Huge mistake because they're going to keep you from your Ten of Cups by only offering you the Six of Cups, okay? Just not what you want, okay? And that's why I say, if you go with this, all right, if you go with this Leo and you allow this Capricorn to affect your energy, it's going to end up causing this tower moment, which is gonna bring you into the Seven of Cups, which means you're gonna to have to have options. You're gonna lose both. You're gonna lose the Capricorn and you're gonna lose the Leo because you fucked around on the Leo with the Capricorn and the Leo was giving you everything, okay? Everything and didn't deserve to be fucked around on with your past. So fucking around with your past is going to definitely cost you in the long run. It's gonna cost you in the long run. I mean, to make this relationship work and this karmic wheel is gonna be paused until this test fulfills itself. So this karmic wheel will turn partially, but it's not gonna turn all the way until they send you this test and see how you respond to it. If you're strong enough to respond and turn this, turn your back to the Capricorn and, and give your loyalty to the Sun card, then this over here would not happen, okay? This tower moment would not happen. This options with snakes crawling out of them, it's not gonna happen. The Knight of Pentacles just flew out. So, loyalty brings you the Knight of Pentacles, means you got coin, you've got money, okay? I mean, you had the Page of Pentacles here, but hanging in there with this Leo puts you in a much better position than, than going down the road to your past. I mean, you're in the Knight of Pentacles energy and you receive judgment. Look at that. By going with the Leo, by not cheating with your ex, you literally receive judgment from the universe. Didn't I say that the universe, that wheel wasn't going to turn until the test was done? Bam! Can I be any more accurate? Am I any more clear? I, you, you can't, you can't 
mess with this message. This message is as clear as day. Okay, judgment comes once you show how much you've grown, how much you've changed, how much you're not going to go back to the past, how much you're going to stand up for your own self-love. You're going to be liberated. You're going to receive judgment from the universe. You've got to be strong enough to do this. This is your chance. You have been waiting a long time for an opportunity to get out of a darkness that you've been in. This is your opportunity. It doesn't come but maybe once or twice in a lifetime. It may have already come once for you, but I'm telling you it's here now. So you may not have twice in your life. This could be the one and only chance that you have to get out from underneath all this darkness. And I'm telling you right now, by making the right decision to stick with this Leo, and by being loyal to this Leo, you will receive judgment from the universe. And you'll end up in the Ace of Swords energy, which is beautiful. I mean, you're going to be cutting out people, places, and things that no longer serve you. You're standing up for your self-love. You're empowered. You now know what you deserve. You now know you're not going to accept any less than what you deserve. You are completely clear in your head as far as what you want in your life and what you don't want in your life. And it sure in the hell ain't this this devil over here, okay? It sure in the hell ain't this devil that's got its hand reaching back out to you to come back for a second round of what they put you through, okay? It's not this devil that you need to go to. It's, it's completely, it's not, it's this sun guard here. I'm telling you, this... This is your future, okay? You tell me which one looks better to you, okay? The Leo or the Capricorn, okay? Leo, the Sun card, the Capricorn, the Devil card. Which one, when the choice comes to you, which one looks better to you? You tell me. It's not, it doesn't take rocket science to figure this out, people. This is a very clear cut message. So, give me a final message, Spirit. What do you got as a final message for my Virgos out there before I end this video? What do you got? What a powerful reading tonight, you guys. What a powerful, powerful reading. I hope I got lots of likes in this reading because this reading just... You can't get any more clearer than what this reading just came out, guys. I mean, this is it. This is a reading for you. This is... This is powerful. This is spirit talking to you tonight. And I am amped up. My energy, can you tell? I was ready to deliver this message to you. Final message, spirit. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, people. What does this say? Death and rebirth. Do you understand? You have a big change coming in your life, people. A huge change huge change you have the death of the past and a rebirth of the future do you understand once in a lifetime opportunity people this is just what a beautiful message spirit thank you thank you thank you spirit what a beautiful message tonight delivered with just great energy i, I really really cannot believe the way I channel sometimes. It's not always like this. You guys have watched several of my readings in the past. My energy levels go up and down, but tonight this was a powerful, powerful message. You needed to hear it. If you heard this message tonight, there's a reason why you heard this message. Virgo, you have a, an opportunity coming into your life and you need to hop on this bus, hop on this train while it stopped. Because once it gets going again, there may not be another train for a very long time. This is your chance. I'm telling you, this is your chance. With that being said, I am Indigo Jake. You can find me on Instagram at Indigo Jake. Uh, you can find me on YouTube. You already have Indigo Jake. Um, like the video, please. It really helps me out. Share the video. That helps me out even more. And gosh, subscribe to my channel. I have grown so much. And it's because of you guys. You guys are all helping me grow. Every time I put up one of these videos, I get 10, 15, 20 new subscribers. So, I mean, by all means, I am grateful for all the views, all the support, all the comments that people leave me. I really enjoy conversing with my followers and my subscribers. I'm here to help you. I'm here for personal readings. 
I do have a website that has just been launched, indigojakes.com. Not Indigo Jake, put an S at the end of Jakes. Indigojakes.com, okay? Go check it out. Uh, it's still being um, added to, content is being added every day to my website, but uh, there's quite a bit that's been added so far. So, I mean, go check it out and leave some comments and let me know what you think. But uh, otherwise, happy Valentine's Day. Don't be afraid when this challenge comes, when this test comes, when this opportunity comes. If you need guidance, reach out to me. I'm here to help you. Reach out to me. I'll help one by one by one. Help is what I'm here to do, okay? So reach out to me. I love you all. I hope you all stay strong. And once again, have a wonderful Valentine's Day.